Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Aries. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Aries placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Um, I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. I will pull oracles at the end, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. And time is elusive. We are all on different timelines. This could have already happened for you. This may be happening now. Could definitely be more future focused. Jumping right in Aries. We got a lot of swords here. Your first card out this week is the Nine of Swords, followed by the Four of Swords, the Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles. There you are. King of Wands, Aries Leo Sav could also be dealing with another fire sign. And Temperance, definitely dealing with some sort of fire energy here. Major Arcana for Sag energy here with Temperance. Somebody's stressed out. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Could have that in your chart, be dealing with that sign. But definitely someone's stressed out here. And I don't think they're showing you how stressed they really are. The Moon card here see, uh, is a, a sense of hiding or keeping things sort of, um, you know, not showing, not showing, not showing the full thing. Definitely tying it back to some sort of emotion thing too, because the moon does to connect to our emotions, Pisces, Cancer, energy. Someone is not showing you that they're going through something emotionally. They're definitely holding back, not really telling you how stressed out something is making them. I don't know if this has to do with you or in their personal life. Could be a friend, family member, whoever. Definitely they're not telling you how stressed out they really are. The Four of Pentacles is holding back, withholding. Withholding true emotions and how upset about something they really are. Four of Swords, there is a sense of healing that is going on. You might not be hearing from this person all too much, as much. A sense of uh, meditation, you know, healing, recovery. The Five of Swords. Five is the energy of change. We have four or five here, so there will be some sort of progress that is made. Somebody will eventually tell you what's been going on, but right now it seems like they need some space, they need some time. You could be sort of watching them from a distance, or they could be watching you. But this is like, play it, uh, you know, see how it goes. Observe, but it does look like somebody's not really ready right now. They are going through something very uh, tumultuously, something, something heavy. And they're deliberately not letting you know what it is. In time, I think they will, though. In time, because we do have some... This is a... Temperance is a sense of timing. Being patient. Being patient for someone to sort of move, move past a certain phase that they might be going to with this world card here. Yeah, they will come out of it. Eventually, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Lover's card, Gemini Energy. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is going to open up to you. This is someone with emotions for you, though, for sure person definitely has some sort of emotions the lovers the three of pentacles and the king of cups more water sign energy yeah they're not ready to open up to you right now is what i'm getting so if this is some sort of romantic partnership and they're not hearing from this person i do get there is something in their personal life that they're going through and i don't think they want to sort of dump on you just yet so i do think they're choosing distance sort of to get their shit together deal with the issue before it becomes an issue too big to handle but this is huge for this person lots of major arcana here life-changing energy they aren't going to be the same after this and i do get they will open up to eventually you know when they've sort of processed it themselves some of you this could be you to somebody and if this is you and you're going through something right now maybe it's good just to have a little conversation with hey you know what i'm going through something right now I just need a little bit of time and space and energy. But as soon as I'm able to talk about it, I will come and talk about it with you. But it is does seem like if this is you, whoever you're dealing with does know that tip to be patient. They're sort of willing to be patient, sort of willing to wait it out and see how, um, you know, take it slow. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah. So whether they're romantic or not, I do get something, someone is going through something, um, that they're having a hard time dealing with right now and it's sort of saying be a support to this person they will eventually come around and sort of confide in you but they kind of got to work through it first before they can do that there will be action taken in time maybe um sagittarius season which is november 
just give this person some time to sort of move past this. This is whatever this is, it's huge. It definitely could be something with money with this King of Pentacles. But they don't want to quite tell you yet. They're not ready to tell you. Ground hog spirit, time to let go, number 31, which is a four. So now we are two fours. Could be seen that as a synchronicity. Four can be a sense of protection, divine protection. You actually have three fours, four, four, four. And you have electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. Yeah, so this is saying when the person is, when the time is right, you will understand what this person was going through. But I think right now there's, it's still too fresh. It's still too painful. They got to heal from it first a little bit. I think this person just doesn't want to dump on you. Because this person seems like someone that is more so proactive, more so the one that people depend on. Maybe they're also not used to, you know, having people there in their corner. This could be a good opportunity to show this person that, especially if they were a newer person. Definitely could be a newer person with this page of swords. It would make sense if it's a newer person, because that would make sense why they want to, you no, know, get too personal just yet. Yes. So if you were asking a question, the answer is yes, <laughs> an opportunity. So if you're asking if there's, uh, if this is worth waiting for, if there's an opportunity here for things to move forward, yes. But there is a sense of needing to be patient. Some sort of timing energy. Divine timing. If you're worried about missing an opportunity, you will not with the Four of Cups. Some of you might be worried that the opportunity might be missed. What's for you can't miss you. And we have a guardian. A lost loved one watches over you. Some of you, this person definitely could have lost somebody, especially with the death card here, the four of swords, you know. That could definitely be it. This person could have lost someone very important to them. So you can understand if, you know, they need some time. Guidance, please. Hopefully it's not a child. For Aries. And if you are going through something, Aries, just explain this to this person. Don't, you know, just a quick, hey, you know what? I'm not in the best place right now. I'm going through some things. I lost someone that meant a lot to me. Be patient with me. Resolving anger. Conflict reminds me when I need more space for myself. Yeah. That's exactly what's going on. Someone that needs some space for themselves right now. It's not about you, it has nothing to do with you. Guidance, please, for Aries. If someone has been distant, this could definitely be why they're going through something here. Very emotional, very, um, very deep. Because the electric eel is also water energy. Something that's going to take some time for them to heal from. Guidance, please, for Aries. Aries, please. Nothing from this deck. Thank you. We have time for healing. <laughs> yeah. So if this person hasn't, you know, you've been wondering, and maybe someone feels like they've ghosted you, or they're just, you know, not texting back as much as they once were, they're definitely going through something. They are definitely going through something. All right, Aries, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. That feels very short. Yeah, that feels very short, but it's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward, straight to the point. Okay, if it resonates, I will see you next week. Bye.